Governor Spencer Cox spending the day in southern Utah. He's talking with residents about growth in the area and how it's impacting local businesses and residents. ABC 4's Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Bertadero spoke with the governor and the locals today and has the story. I sat in at a luncheon today at the Rotary Club in Hurricane, and it seems like a lot of the residents are actually concerned about the growth happening here in southern Utah. We're seeing this crazy growth coming in, and we're wondering how we're going to manage it with the infrastructure, with the water drought that we're in. How are we going to take care of everybody? How are we going to keep up with our standard of operations? This is why Governor Spencer Cox says he's spending time with Washington County locals. He's talking to people on the ground to find out what, what they're happy about, what they're not happy about, and how we can do better. Cox says he's looking at water infrastructure, roads, and how Southern Utah needs to respond to the growth and statewide drought. We're looking at programs that, uh, that invest in removing lawn and turf and implementing xeriscaping going forward. Again, something that Washington County has done better with, but uh, there's, there's still efforts that need to be here. Locals say they want to see affordable housing opportunities for their kids and employees and more action when it comes to the drought other than just praying for rain. A recircling hot water system. Why that's not required in every home um, boggles my mind, especially new home construction, because there's so much water that gets wasted from turning on the tap until you get that hot water for the shower. This is the south boat ramp at the uh, the San Hollow State Park. We usually don't re lose that boat ramp until after Labor Day. We probably have maybe another two to three weeks of us being able to use our boat ramp and then we're back to the main marina, which is very, very difficult. Governor Cox says after listening to these residents, he plans to propose water conservation efforts in the next legislative session. Reporting in Hurricane, Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.